My name is Steve, an Intel FPGA training engineer. There may be situations where you want to take an existing, possibly incomplete FPGA design and see what FMAX you could potentially achieve or get an estimate of device resources required to implement it. Normally, you'd have to create and compile the complete design to get this information. But what if you could do this without your complete design, even if the partial design itself has more I.O. than are available in your target device? You can do this with virtual pin assignments in the Intel Cordis Prime software. To illustrate this, I have a BCH encoder design I've instantiated in a simple top-level design with the module name TIP that I want to implement in a particular Intel Cyclone 10 GX device. However, as you can see, the design fails compilation because it includes more I.O. connections, 266, than are available on my target device, only 216. The design will eventually be part of a larger design that will use fewer physical I.O. pins, but I want to analyze the module without building the entire design. To do this, I'll create virtual pin assignments for all the module I.O. except for the clock. A virtual pin assignment connects a targeted node to a logic stub in the device fabric instead of connecting it to a physical I.O. pin. The assignments are created in the assignment editor. First, I'll find the signals to target in the node finder. These are the pins that the compiler wants to connect to physical I.O. Next, I'll set the assignment name for all of them to virtual pin and set the value of all the assignments to on. I'll now save the assignments and perform a full compilation. The design compiles successfully. I can now look at the compilation report to analyze resource usage and FMAX. If I open the chip planner and zoom in, You can see the logic stubs created for the virtual pins colored yellow. Going forward, I can now optimize this design if necessary and then integrate it into the full design. I could also set it as a reusable design partition for easy integration into multiple projects. To learn more, see the documentation and training links in the video description. Thank you for watching.